Anybody living in the area might notice that for the past few days, this has been pretty empty. But that is because the wiring is giving me issues. And I have it all over here. I've been deciding to redo the wiring. And so what I did was I bought some extension cables because this is the cheapest wire you can get. I cut it up, I ripped the wire out of it, and then I used the uh, black and white wire for this. I had this thing temporarily wired together with these little alligator clip jumpers, but oh man, they, they were giving so, so many little weird issues because they would be connected to like this, for instance, and then it would just lose connection. I have to wiggle it and it would barely get it back and they'd be connected to each other. And uh, it seems like oxidation is a big issue. By the way, the reason why it's so humid in here is because it's connected to the coffee shops, one which they always keep open. So the hot, humid air from the coffee shop comes in here and condenses. That's why this one gets foggy and that one doesn't. So now I'm just trying to see how am I gonna future-proof this? Also, I had to fix this because this, I worried about it falling forward, so I added this, but I never added a mechanism to keep it from falling back. And as these have run, you see there's some white powder because it's really wearing this, this stuff down, running constantly day and night. And as it's loosening up, you can really see all the white powder on that. It'll be curious to see how this lasts after like a year of continuous operation. But I Gorilla glued a little piece of uh, filament from the uh, Ultimaker onto there. And the same with this as well. But now we have the other issue that this, that this comes down and hits that and makes it bind up, which is really unfortunate. So whenever this comes down, it catches on the bottom of that rivet and it makes the whole thing go like, like that kind of, it's like it, it pops it because it's coming down onto that gear. And so what I'm going to do is I think either I can reprint it or I can just take this pin out and cut it and glue it in place. You know, it'll be good enough for this. Whoa, that came up really easily. So there we have it. We have it without the uh, the rivet head. And so on this one, what I did was I actually made it inset. So it's set into there. And so that way it's not sticking out the cache on that. So I've made that. The old one's falling apart.
The wiring definitely did not work out this time. It, I don't like how these are exposed. I don't like how these are exposed and just this is two inches away from, well, just like before, but like blowing a fuse, popping a wire, whatever. So, yeah. Charizard will protect us against electrical failure. Well, I came in after one day and this had unplugged itself. It must have hit something. I don't know what it hit, but it's, it's violent motion kept making it turn. And then all of a sudden this got stuck on something and it wound up like up here. And then it started turning the motor against itself and it started pulling its own wires in. If you look inside there, the wires are all wrapped around. I kind of hate this thing. It's, um, I guess we have enough stuff in here now that we can just do that. But gosh, this is, this, this thing has been nothing but trouble. Oh my God, it even ripped, that's why it ripped the connector off. Oh my God. Well, this is just absolutely wrecked. Okay. Um, You really run into a lot of interesting problems whenever you make something and then have it run for weeks straight. You really do. It's it's kind of interesting. It takes a lot of engineering to, dip, to, to make something that lasts and doesn't just tear itself apart. Hey guys, so it's been a few weeks and I've pretty much had to give up on the, the front display. Pretty much nothing kept working except for the little ones. So I have a running off a of power supply I found and I'm going to just make a bunch more little things that'll keep running off of wall power, how to make my own power cable and stuff. And we're gonna be getting rid of all of this and making something different. And so, man, everything was just failing on me. I'm also trying to get video, home video digitizing going. But I've decided to make a few more things. Here's the updated version of the Tally Ho. And it prints with only like 68 grams of plastic. It's really efficient. This one turns out these little motors are just a little bit too weak for the big one. It's too unbalanced. So I'm going to have to fix that. And I've decided I'm gonna just make a bunch more of different types. So we have that mechanism and I'll make a base for it. And then we have another one that it's the same thing, but this goes on top. But this goes on top and has that connected to it. It'll make sense, but that's pretty much that. This has been an, ex an exercise in, well, I gotta get away from that coffee shop. It's too noisy, too noisy in there. But yeah, this has just been an exercise in complications because everything keeps falling apart. It's funny whenever you have things running for several weeks, it just dies. So that's pretty much it for this version of this. I'm going to redesign it. Going on to the next one, I'm going to make probably two more. I'm going to have five mechanical parts. And then maybe I'll focus it more on going from idea to product. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Yeah.